Now the seven half diminished. Remember the seven chord functions usually as a leading tone to tonic. And, oops, and so the seven half diminished seven is going to function similarly. It's going to function as some sort of leading tone. So if I have this chord, that's, that's the, the D, D, F, A, A, that's a half diminished in C major. Um, we're still going to want to resolve the seven down by step. And also, that fa to mean relationship between the dominant seven and something like that. So seven half diminished to one. In minor, so if we had, uh, we were in C minor instead. You're still going to follow the same resolution. Uh, actually, let me voice this different from where I just see this instead. But still, the same voice is, the leading tone is going to want to resolve. This is seven. The leading tone is still going to want to resolve up. Um, and the seventh, the A flat, comes all down to the fifth of the chord. And then Fa to me, and then that. So the main, 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 main rule <laughs> is the seventh resolve down by step. That's the main, main, main thing. And then most of those other issues will take care of themselves. Um, but you do want to be aware of things like when you're doing root position seventh chords in a row, that you're going to have to have some alternating pattern of like omitting the fifth in one or the, res the resolving chord in order to make that work without having parallels. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. Just two things. Um, you said that the seven wants to resolve down by step. And then in the minor here, you're resolving it up. No. The, oh, the no, I'm sorry. When I'm talking about seven, I'm talking about the seventh of the chord, okay. not the seventh in the key. OK, so we're, yeah. in, we're in C minor there. Right. So the seventh would be that B. Right? Well, the, the seventh step of the scale would be the B. Right. But, the, but when I'm talking about the chord, I'm talking about the seven fully diminished seventh chord whose seventh uh, is A flat. I see. Yeah. OK. That's always a problem. So not the, not the seventh, teaching. but the key. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the seventh of the chord, not this, this, not seven in the key. And the book uses this kind of notation. They use, you know, this is a scale degree. You know, a seven or, or a two or whatever. That's the step of the scale. And then this is a set, or not, sorry. No. I'm afraid to say this. Is just a seventh, okay. you know. So um, you, have to, you do have to be aware of that, but yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. And we'll, do you have another question? Um, yes, but I forgot what it was. The, okay. the last thing that you were just saying, um, um, the think about this. Um, oh, and going back to the chain of sevens. You said uh -huh. that we would have to do, I, I'm sorry, I'm just going to we would have to do something in order to make sure that the that we could go from. Yeah, you're going to have to omit the fifth in either the seventh chord that you're in or the one you're resolving it to. You know, because so. we have to triple the note. Yeah, like, well, in a seventh chord, it means doubling the root. You know, <coughs> so so in, in any seventh chord, um, yeah, this let's say this is our our two seven, but we could also do something like um, this, and it would still be a two seven chord. I just I have the root doubled, and as long as you've got the third and the seventh, you're good. Okay. Um, it's those are the two most important ones. I, it's the same in commercial harmony. You need a third. You can't have a quality of a triad without sure. a third.
And then the seventh, it wouldn't be a seventh chord without the seventh. Makes sense. Any, yeah. <laughs> well, it makes sense, but then sometimes you get into part writing, you just completely forget about it. You know, you get into some exercise and you just, oh, I'll just put a ninth in there, but it might not be a ninth if you don't have the seventh to support it, you know, or the third to support it. Okay. Um, Professor, if you have a seventh half diminished six five, usually uh -huh. it resolves to a one six. Uh, let me do that up here.